Children, what does it mean to wonder? I wonder. Hello, children. Welcome to Preschool Meeting. I'm Miss Stephanie, and I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> I wonder what you're doing right now. You're watching Preschool Meeting. Um, before we begin, I thought we could do a little bit of breathing just to, to relax and calm our mind down if it's a little agitated. Agitated means nervous or if your mind has too much energy, there's something very helpful you can do and that is deep breathing. Would you try it with me? Even if your mind is already calm, it's a good thing to practice. So why don't we take three deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. Ready? One, that's two, that's three. Thank you for breathing with me. So today we're going to talk about wonder. Do you know what it means to wonder? When we wonder, it means that we're curious about something and would like to know about it. Um, sometimes we see something surprising or even something ordinary, but we suddenly notice it and we wonder about it. We think, well, how did that get there? Or what does that do? Or what does this mean? Or how can I find out more? I took a wandering, wandering walk today. I like to take a walk in the morning. Um, and today I took lots of pictures and some videos about things that made me wonder. And I want to share that with you after our story. First, let's read. Children, the book I want to read for you today is called Everywhere Wonder by Matthew Swanson and Robbie Baer. And I just got this book recently and it's quickly become one of my very, very favorite books. It's just lovely and I hope you like it too. Everywhere Wonder. A neighbor's going past. There's a little girl pedaling a bike and someone's pushing her. It's like a little bike carriage. I wonder where they're going. Everywhere wonder. Okay, see, there's a little boy and he's pulling a book out. I have a story to share. It is a little gift from me to you. You might not know it, but you have a story too. You'll find it in the things you stop to notice. Things you stop to notice. By the way, as that little girl was going past with her grown-up, I heard her saying, what's that? And what's that? She was noticing some things. Ah, oh, the book he was reading is about the pyramids. Do you know much about the pyramids? Maybe it's something you can study with your grown-ups. They're pretty wonderful. The world is full of people and places and things. All of them interesting. All of them beautiful. You never know what you might see or where your mind might take you. So keep your eyes wide open as you go. <gasps> Look at that. He's floating out the window. The dog looks very surprised. He's wondering about those pyramids. In Egypt, there are pyramids. Here he is. Look how tiny he is compared to the pyramids. He's sitting on a camel in Egypt. Does that make you wonder? In Arizona, there are canyons. That looks like maybe the Grand Canyon. Maybe, or a different one. In the jungles of Brazil are leaves so plentiful and green that light can barely reach the ground below. I'm gonna show you this half first. So there he is looking up at the tree canopy. In a jungle, we call this way up here, the tree canopy, 
where all of the trees sort of spread out and there's all these leaves and branches together and lots of animals and insects and all kinds of living things are up in the tree canopy. There's a bug, a monkey. In the high hills of Japan are gardens full of wind-worn rocks and clean white sand, but not a single flower. It's very different, isn't it, from the jungle? Hmm, I've never been to Japan. I wonder if I'll ever go. In Kenya, there are hot, dry savannas filled with zebras and blue wildebeest. Which ones are the zebras? The striped ones. So these must be the wildebeest. be fun to learn about wildebeest. I don't know anything about them. In Alaska, there are cold, wet waters filled with seals and sockeye salmon. See something up in the sky? An airplane. I wonder where that's going. In the middle of the Coral Sea, there is a roaring storm that no one will ever hear. He's imagining being in that big storm. I'm glad he's not really there. That would be quite an adventure. On the near side of the moon, there is a quiet footprint that no rains will ever wash away. Who left that footprint there on the moon? Did astronauts walk on the moon and leave footprints? In Sheboygan, there is a tractor mechanic named Shirley who has 37 friends. On the North Pole, there is a cold and lonesome bear wishing for some company. So those are very different scenes, aren't they? There's the woman in Sheboygan with 37 friends, and there's a polar bear who's feeling kind of lonesome. You want to go see him, of course, to let him know he's not alone but your bike won't get you there and back by bedtime. Still, you noticed him, didn't you? He walked off this page and into your head. Now, he is part of your story. That's nice to think that no one is really alone if other people are thinking about them. He started thinking about that polar bear. There are other wonders yet to find not so far from where you are right now. They too are interesting. They too are beautiful. Stop to really look and you will see them. No one eats that. A balloon is floating past his window. I wonder why. In the highest part of the tree is an unexpected gift, a blue balloon that must have slipped from someone's fingers. A beautiful balloon. In the deepest part of the pool is a sunken treasure, a shiny dime that must have tumbled from someone's pocket. Will you save it or spend it? Or leave it there for someone else to find? All good choices. It's exciting to find a shiny dime. In the grocery store are aisles and shelves and stacks of cans. You have to look so carefully to find the one you want. Lots and lots of soup. In your bowl of steaming soup is just one noodle that doesn't match the others. Where do you think it came from? I'd like to show that to you up close. See if you can find the one noodle that's different. There's all those O's. Whoops, sorry, <laughs> there's all those O's. And there's one shaped like the letter X. Wouldn't it be funny if in the soup factory, someone decided I'm gonna make an X noodle and put it in and I'll wonder about who gets that X noodle. Maybe it's like a little kiss. You know how O's are for hugs and S's are for kisses. It's a kissy noodle. On the playground is a sturdy line of bright black ants carrying their supper home. Ants are amazingly strong. Look at that ant carrying a Cheerio. They can carry things much bigger than they are. Under the bridge is a gently rolling river 
floating a blue glass bottle out to sea. Perhaps it has a message. What does it say? Who could it be for? In the busy town are sidewalks full of swiftly moving people who somehow never seem to collide. Collide means bump into each other. There's beauty in the city, isn't there? All those people, where are they going, I wonder? What are they doing? All those different stories. In the quiet countryside are miles of open, empty roads that somehow never seem to end. Where do they go? Someday you might find out. In the hallway is a spotted dog that turns golden as the sun sets through the window. In the bedroom is a doorknob that makes rainbows when the reading lamp clicks on. Rainbows are amazing, aren't they? Have you ever seen a rainbow dancing on your wall and then you stop to figure out, wow, what is this light passing through to make that rainbow? Now the lamp is off and the moon is up. You close your eyes and see them again, the things that you noticed today. See them in your imagination. All of these together are your story. Dream that with them a while. The pyramids and the canyon and the balloons. When you wake up in the morning, open your eyes and open your window and let your story out into the world. It is a little gift from you to me. So your story is a gift. That's a wonderful way to think of it. Look at polar bear, boat, bike, rocket ship, pyramid, or it could be a prism to make a rainbow, balloons, Strong ant. Oh, there's the pyramids. Bird in the jungle. Oh, a deep sea creature. Japan. Now my story is complete, but yours is just beginning. Children, I hope you liked that book, Everywhere Wonder. I liked it so much that I wondered about the author and the illustrator. So I decided to look at the back page. Sometimes you can find information about the people who created a book. I'd like to read it to you. Matthew Swanson and Robbie Bear see blue balloons everywhere they go. I wonder why. Co-creators of one daughter, two sons, and more than 70 illustrated books for children and adults, Matthew and Robbie run Bob Liddy Books, that's their company, from the hayloft on their home barn studio on the eastern shore of Maryland. They have never been to Kenya or the moon, but they do spend their summers working as commercial salmon fishermen on the Alaskan tundra. Hmm. And they wondered about a lot of things and created this book. And when they were making this book, they might have wondered if anyone would enjoy it. And I did, and I hope you did too. So our book today was called Everywhere Wonder. I went on a wonder walk today, and I brought along my camera, and I took some pictures and some videos of things that I saw or heard and wondered about. I wonder why the bark on so many trees is so thick and bumpy. I wonder who first had the idea to make bricks and use them to build walls and buildings. Hi, Fire Hydrant. I did wonder what this box was for, but then I read the label. It has to do with water quality. I wonder if this mama duck and baby ducklings like having this big goose around. Have you ever wondered what the underside of stairs looks like? 
I wonder if a waterfall was out in space, would it still fall down? I wonder what kind of rock this is. I wonder what's up around this bend. Kind of exciting when you don't know. <gasps> Hello, spider. I hope you got something to eat. I wonder what that sign says. No swimming allowed. I wonder who put the letter M on this tree trunk and why? I wonder if beavers push those trees over. Has Bigfoot been here? Shh. I think that weasel didn't read the sign. I wonder what this green stuff is on this tree. Look at the red leaves on this branch. Does this branch think that it's fall? Did you know that mushrooms are not plants? I wonder who first figured that out. I wonder what kind of truck that is. Oh, it must be a forklift, because I see a fork. I wonder what else there is to see. Children, thank you for joining for preschool meeting and for coming on my wonder walk. And you know, we don't have to walk around outside to wonder about things. We can wonder everywhere. We'll see you soon. Just so you know, I looked up what would happen to a waterfall if there were no gravity. And as I understand it, the water would sort of form a floating blob and just all sort of stick together in a, in a glob. Uh, certainly wouldn't fall, it would just sort of float around. I'd like to see that sometime.